Our first port of call is Hong Kong. Welcome to one of the world's most exciting cities, Hong Kong. Situated on China's south coast, Hong Kong is a city of dazzling contrasts. A fusion of east and west, ancient and modern, where there's something new to discover around every corner. Home to over 7 million people, Hong Kong was reunited with China in 1997 after 150 years of British rule. Today, its colonial past is mixed with 5,000 years of Chinese tradition, and the result is a city with character, with soul, and one of the most impressive skylines in the world. This is the ferry from Kowloon to Hong Kong Island. It's only eight minute journey and it forms part of the commute for many locals. What a bad way to start your day. Once on Hong Kong Island, making your way round couldn't be easier. This is a city that prides itself on efficiency. There's no better way to find your way around than on the Ding Ding Tram, a part of Hong Kong's daily life for over a century now. And the reason it's called the Ding Ding Tram? Hong Kong is world renowned as a shopper's paradise and its vast array of malls and luxury boutiques offer visitors a unique shopping experience. If designer labels aren't your thing, then maybe the city's countless traditional street markets will be more to your liking. This is Lascar Row, where you can find practically anything from a Chairman Mao pocket watch to brick and brack and antique furniture. Lascar Row is commonly known as Cat Street, as legend has it that this is where you once had to come to buy back your stolen property. Today, things have changed and Lascar Row has become one of the top antique destinations in the city and a firm favourite with tourists visiting the island. Hong Kong is known as the culinary capital of the East and there's an endless amount of mouth-watering dining options to suit every palace. Yum Cha is a big part of Hong Kong life and most days residents will pop in somewhere like this, a traditional tea house for their usual cup of tea and some dim sum, effectively their local cat. Gonna try some. This is such a traditional place. You, you don't go up to order. The food is actually brought around on trolleys and you choose what you want from the trolley that passes by. So constantly you've got this fresh flow of food. This is dim sum, which I have to say, it's so nice, so tasty. And uh, just even looking around here, it's great to see you've got every age range. Like I've spotted young people with older people who I can only assume are their older relatives. It's so nice to see it's the one place where everyone in community comes together and I suppose shares food. What a great thing to do. Experiencing a traditional tea house is a must when visiting Hong Kong, as is a trip up the city's tallest building, the Sky 100. So here we are, I'm going up to the 100th floor of this baby. Wish me luck. I can actually feel my ears about to pop. We're going up in the lift, it's 60 seconds to go nearly 400 metres, which is quite impressive. A little bit G-force there in the belly. Don't come here if you've just had your breakfast. The ladies look a little bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that view is just incredible. An unrivaled view of Hong Kong. And this is actually the third highest viewing platform in the world. The building's so tall it actually does sway a little bit. I actually feel slightly dizzy here. And I'm actually quite good with height. And just look at the city. It looks like Toy Town from up here. At this height, it's almost impossible to comprehend just how much history and culture is crammed onto such a small island. But from one of the city's newest attractions, my next stop is an old favourite, Hong Kong's famous Jade Market. Jade is very important to Chinese people. The written character means a combination of beauty and purity, and it's associated with long life and good health. The Jade Market is a collection of more than 400 stalls, and here you'll find all manner of jewellery, carvings and ornaments made from this treasured stone.
When it comes to choosing accommodation in Hong Kong, then you really will be spoiled for choice. The city has over 60,000 rooms available to suit all budgets, from hostels and guest houses to some of the world's most luxurious hotels. If you fancy pushing the boat out, then one of the most stylish places to stay in Hong Kong is the Hotel Icon, located in the heart of Kowloon. This contemporary hotel has been designed by some of the city's most creative talent and includes a wealth of unique features, including, bizarrely, the largest vertical garden in Asia. Hong Kong is renowned as a city of contrast, and when night falls, its flamboyant side really comes alive. The harbour dazzles with bright lights and neon signs, and is entertainment to suit all tastes. Hong Kong never ceases to surprise. The mix of Western and Eastern cultures, and check out that skyline. It's perhaps one of the most amazing I've ever seen in my life. Return flights to Hong Kong start from 550 pounds. Hostels and hotels can be found for anything from 25 pounds per night. But to do it in style at the Icon Hotel, Standard double rooms cost from £158 per night. Later on, Lisa Butcher has plenty to get her teeth into in Chicago. But first, it's over to Emma in the Middle Eastern state of Oman. 